Dear friends, welcome to Infos, welcome to oil and gas training. Process safety management uh, part 5 and 6. Uh, in this video we are taking uh, two parts of uh, uh, process safety management. One is the uh, management of change and uh, uh, six, uh, six, part 6 is uh, process and the equipment integrity. We have already taken uh, uh, process safety management part 1 to 5, 1 to 4. Hope you all have seen that one. Uh, otherwise uh, the link is uh, attaching here. So you can have a look and understand the basics of uh, process safety management. Welcome to this video. Management of change. MOC, in short form it is calling MOC, Management of Change. A system to manage change is critical to the operation of any facility. A written procedure should be required for all changes except replacement in kind. The system should address a clear definition of change, scope of application, a description and a technical basis for the proposed change, potential impact of the uh, pot proposed change in health, safety and environment, uh, authorization requirement to make change, training requirement for employees and contractors due to the change, updating of documentation including drawing, process safety information, operating procedure, maintenance procedure, alarm and interlock settings, fire protection system, etc. So these are the key areas of uh, management of change should address contingencies for emergency changes. <clears throat> In that one, uh, management of change have some sub uh, uh, points are there, subheadings are there. Let us discuss one by one. One is 5.1 is change of process technology. While process changes occur for several reasons, it is essential that these changes do not compromise process safety. So any change we can take in the plant, in the operation facility, but should not compromise uh, uh, process safety. That is very, very important. Changes must always under proper control uh, based on the company policy, operation procedure, health safety environment, etc. etc. Variance procedures should ensure proposed operation outside current operating limit is subject to prior review and approval by qualified personnel who must be available if authorities needed at short notice 5.2 is change of facility equipment changes may introduce additional hazards or increase risk always any changes in the plant it will uh, introduce additional hazards reducing or uh, increasing the safety or reducing the safety uh, point of view and increase the risk in the plant a management of change system should therefore include an assessment of hazardous and risk associated with the change. Major equipment changes should be covered by the capital project review. This is we have already taken that one in section 3, the previous part 3 and 4. You can review that one to understand more on uh, major equipment change on capital project. Procedures should also be used for smaller changes since major hazards can be introduced by minor changes. Example, a cross connection or instrumentation change like override or uh, isolation process. So this can also change in uh, uh, hazards situation or risk situation. <clears throat> the procedure should be simple but require approval by qualified personnel. 5.3 organizational changes that may have an impact on process safety. Changes in organization must address 
the transition period as well as the way the new organization is to work. Even where no staff losses occur, the changes, the change in reporting relationship can lead to the problem. Departure of staff and especially elimination of organizational unit, example through downsizing, pose special challenges since accountability and safe control of operation must continue despite the often sudden loss of key knowledge and skills. 5.4 Variance Procedures Exceptions can be expected for all procedures and there should be system to allow exceptions to be promptly managed under control. Through variance procedures called for review and approval by qualified personnel, they should be easy to use. The system should ensure all involved would understand the basis of approval and new limits established for the variance. 5.5 Permanent Changes Permanent changes should, should be subjected to usual steps of planning, organizing, implementation and control and should be handled in conjunction with other planned programs such as the system of work order, purchase order, capital project design and review. Appropriate risk management should be part of this process. You know, all uh, changes should be under risk management. 5.6 Temporary Changes Temporary changes should be subjected to conditions similar to those applied to permanent changes and the time limit for change should be clearly defined. Steps must be also taken to ensure all equipment is returned safely to normal condition at the end of the change. Number six uh, in uh, process safety management is sixth element to address in PSM is process and equipment integrity. You can see here uh, uh, AIM system, uh, the equipment, uh, all uh, integration uh, equipment and uh, process safety system management. You can see the key element in that one like MOC, manage risk, investigate, design, maintain, quality and procedures. <clears throat> Asset Integrity, AM is Asset Integrity Management. Procedures for fabricating, inspecting and maintaining equipment are vital to process safety. So this is very important. So fabricating the uh, equipment, inspecting and maintain the equipment. So all procedures uh, making for uh, integrity of the uh, plant and process safety of the plant. Return procedure should be used to maintain ongoing integrity of process, process equipment such as pressure vessels and storage tanks, piping, instrumentation and electrical systems, process control software like SCADA and DCS and other softwares, relief and vent systems and design uh, devices, emergency and fire protection system, Controls including monitoring devices and sensors, alarms and interlocks, power transformers, elevating devices, cranes and rotating and hydraulic equipment. So written, clear, uh, approved procedures should be to maintain for this following items integrity of this process equipment. A document file should be maintained for each piece of equipment. 6.1 in uh, sixth element uh, process and uh, equipment integrity, various other sub elements are there. Let us see one by one. Reliability engineering 6.1 reliability engineering equipment critical for process safety should be identified so that the schedules can be established for monitoring and inspection to enable cost-effective correction of problems before they develop to the critical stage. 6.2 Material of Construction 
system should be established where necessary to supplement industry standards such as piping and pressure vessel code. Critical item may need special tracking to verify materials used are as specified. 6.3 Fabrication and Inspection <coughs> Procedures Quality assurance should include a material materials control system which ensure installed equipment in fabrication meets the requirement of the design specification. You can see here a fabrication workshop is traceable to its manufacturer, has met all recorded testing with the test results available on site and is labeled to be clearly identifiable to those doing installation. 6.4 Installation Procedure Critical steps in installation. installation should be identified during planning and field inspection used to verify that installation corresponds to design. 6.5 Preventive Maintenance The preventive maintenance should include a method of identifying critical equipment, a method to establish the preventive maintenance frequencies for critical equipment, a mechanism to ensure PM is done at the specified frequency and a record of the above. So these are the key sub-elements in uh, uh, preventive maintenance. Important point to address. Risk-based inspection may also be used to assist in managing inspection and maintenance resources while ensuring that critical equipment is fit for service. 6.6 Process, Hardware and Systems Inspection and Testing Pre-Startup Safety Review PSSR Pre-Startup Safety Reviews should be conducted before commissioning a new or modified process replacing equipment or recommissioning mouth bald equipment. So PSSR is conducting on uh, uh, the name itself mentioned pre-startup safety review. All safety uh, systems uh, reviewing in uh, PSSR. The review should cover both equipment and operating procedures to ensure that all elements are in place and functional. Subsequent inspection and testing process equipment should then be a, according to good engineering practices a, at a frequency determined by applicable codes and standards or frequently if operating experience suggests this is necessary with a system to ensure corrective action is taken when results fall outside of the acceptable limit and with documentation that includes data of uh, date of inspection, name of inspector, serial number or other equipment identifier, description of this test done, result of inspection or test and recommended action. 6.7 maintenance procedure Proper control of maintenance should be include safe work practices which apply to both employees and contractors such as permit to work and their application like how to work, confined space entry, lockout, tagout, excavation, master tag, etc. Opening of process equipment, control of access to the facility by maintenance, contractor, laboratory and other personnel and vehicles. 6.8 Alarm Management System Proper alarm and instrument management includes not only equipment hardware but also computer components and software instructions for process control. This may be addressed via functional safety example under IEC like uh, specific number they are mentioning or safety instrumented system and should include 
ഐഡൻറ്റിഫിക്കേഷൻ ആൻഡ് പ്രയോറിറ്റൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് ക്രിട്ടിക്കൽ അലാം ആൻഡ് ഇന്റർ ക്ലോക്ക്സ് എ പ്രൊസീജിയർ ടു കൺട്രോൾ ചേഞ്ചസ് ടു അലാം സെറ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇന്റർ ലോക്ക് സിസ്റ്റംസ് എ സിസ്റ്റം ഓഫ് റെഗുലർ ടെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഓഫ് ഇന്റർ ലോക്ക് സിസ്റ്റം ആൻഡ് പ്രഷർ സേഫ്റ്റി വാൾസ് സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് നയൻ ഡി കമ്മീഷനിങ് ആൻഡ് ഡിമോളിഷൻ പ്രൊസീജിയേഴ്സ് പ്രൊസീജിയേഴ്സ് ഷുഡ് അഡ്രസ് സേഫ് റിമൂവൽ ഫ്രം സർവീസ് ഡിസ്മാൻഡ്ലിംഗ് ഡി കണ്ടാമിനേഷൻ ആൻഡ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ഡിസ്പോസൽ ഓഫ് വേസ്റ്റ് താങ്ക്സ് ഫോർ വാച്ചിങ് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഇൻ അവർ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വീഡിയോ വി വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് പാർട്ട് സെവൻ ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റ് ഇൻ പ്രോസസ് സേഫ്റ്റി മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം താങ്ക്സ് ഫോർ വാച്ചിങ് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഗുഡ് ഡേ